So uh, module one of our course is really about your morning routine. So just for a moment, if you think about from the time when your alarm goes off, what do you actually do in the morning before you start work? Now, for me, what works for me actually is having a set time each morning which I get up and I actually have affirmations of an evening where I talk to myself and I have it written down where I read out to myself what time I'm going to get up in the morning and that when I do wake up or my alarm goes off, I'm going to feel refreshed and ready to actually get on with life because often when it's dark, especially in the winter uh, in the UK, we don't have the, the benefit of it being sunny all the time and especially when it's dark and cold, you can wake up and quite frankly end up hitting the snooze button. So for me, the four things that really work is called move, breathe, think and drink. Now these you can do in any order um, for as long as you want because it's about finding what works for you. Um, so for me, the move part would be getting up and doing some kind of exercise. Now the exercise can be, if you can get to the gym, of course that's great. For a lot of people in the morning, it's tough to get to the gym if you're starting work early. Sometimes the gym isn't even open or you've got kids and you can't even get out to go to the gym. So what can you actually do? Well, one thing, I mean, we've all got the joys of, let's say, YouTube these days. So the move could be that you have, uh, you look at a YouTube video of some yoga in the morning. Could be a five minute thing, could be a 10 minute thing. It could also be that you just find a set of, let's say, five bodyweight exercises that you do every morning just for a few minutes, just to get the blood pumping uh, and really help wake you up. Now, of course, for some people, it could be that you go swimming, you could be doing bike riding, running, anything that you can think of. For me, it's about finding something that you enjoy. Now, if you need the quick fix, it is maybe you have a very small piece of equipment in your house and you have a room that you can jump straight into, do five minutes, two minutes, whatever it is of exercise, just to get things going. If you can and you have the luxury of going out and having maybe an hour, then of course having a, a real uh, fitness routine can really make a big difference to you. So that's number one, is the move. Then for me, it's about breathing. Now that could be that you do at the start when you wake up, whilst you're brushing your teeth or you're just going and relaxing for a little bit in a room, maybe either standing up or sitting down and taking some time to take a breath. Now, of course, you can read hundreds of different things online about the right way and the wrong way to breathe. For most people, just starting off by breathing and doing the simple basic part of it is the most important. So don't get too caught up with, should I breathe in through the left nostril, out through the right? Should I be breathing in for two seconds and holding it? Just find what works for you and just for two or three minutes, just taking long, slow, deep breaths and actually you'll feel your energy rise in your body um, and for me, I always feel that actually my hands tingle and I can feel the energy coming in as I'm breathing. So you've got moving and you've got breathing. The next one is your think. Now for me, think should actually begin the night before. Is could you say to yourself tomorrow, what are the maybe the three most important things that I need to achieve tomorrow? Firstly, so if you're in a, in a corporate environment, it may be that there's projects you're working on or a really important phone call that could really either transform your business or really supercharge your day. It may be that you're working from home and actually just having the little list of two or three really important things, what are those things that you must get done that day that are a non-negotiable? Because we all know with procrastination, maybe you get up, you have a coffee, you should be doing that thing but actually you're gonna do something else first and I'll do it after lunch and then you get tired and you've had lunch and you've got lack of energy and suddenly it becomes a I'll do it tomorrow thing. And we know your life is about today, not tomorrow and not what happened yesterday. So the think for me is about actually saying, right, let's think of the three things we have to do today we must complete or at least take action with that are gonna make a big difference. Uh, so now we're gonna bring in Scott, who's gonna tell us his version of the think part of our four parts of our morning routine. So Scott, come in and tell us about the think part. Thank you, Ant. Thank you. So what I do, I do two things that are really relevant to this every morning. The first thing I do is I engage in a meditative practice. And the practice I use is called the body scan, which I'm sure many people have heard of it via the, the mindfulness uh, information that's out there just now. What meditation is though, is, is, is active attention. You're paying attention to what's going on in your mind. So what I, do, I don't use uh, chimes, or I don't use a flame, I don't, I don't even use my breath. I use my mind. So I start by thinking about my, my big toe on my right foot, and I go through my whole body, 
uh, up through my head and down through the other side to my other foot. Now that takes about half an hour. Now, there's a lot of different ways of meditating, but just simply observing your body bit by bit is one of the most powerful ways of beginning your day. The other thing I do is I read three books every day. Now some people laugh when I tell them this, they think I'm reading whole books. I'm not, I'm reading a page from three books. I begin my reading every day with a, there's a German poet called uh, Rainer Maria Rilke, who is a beautiful poet who wrote about all sorts of things from love to relationships to, to health and fitness, etc. He was an incredible poet. So I read one of his poems every day and I just think about it and it takes seconds. I then read something that might surprise some people. I read Tolstoy every day. What people don't know about Tolstoy was he stopped writing novels when he was 40 and he lived till he was in his 90s. And for those 50 years, he wrote about wisdom. And one of his best books is 365 Days of Wisdom. So I read some of Tolstoy's wisdom every morning. The final thing is, is very, very short. There's a group of people called the Stoics who were a thinking group back 2,000 years ago, who were very much concerned with how we spend our lives and how we spend our days. And I read one of their quotes every day. Let me give you an example. Possibly my favourite one I came across just a few months ago was this. Feelings are like nails. The harder you hit them, the deeper inside they go. Just think what that means. Think what that could mean for your life. So that's my thinking. Routine. And so what time do you get up in the morning? I usually do seven o'clock um, and meditate for half an hour and then read for 10 minutes. And of course you've got kids to look after yeah. as well, haven't you? Yeah. Which doesn't mean uh, that it's always set in stone because no, kid, it, kids it, don't work yeah. two o'clock. <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, sometimes I do set the alarm early, uh, maybe up at half past six, but I'm not really a morning person, Anthony, so I, I need to you know get my six or seven hours sleep and then Hopefully I get my, my, my time. I think the, the really important thing for me is the meditation. So if, if I have to drop one of those practices, it's, it's going to be the reading. Uh, I really try my best to get at least 15, to, to 15 minutes to half an hour in every day mm -hmm. in the morning. Good stuff. Thank you, Scott. Uh, so, so Scott hit on a really important point there is sometimes life will throw challenges at you pretty much every day. And of course, if you, even if you have your set routine, as I do and as a lot of the successful people that I you know, either read about or spend time with, we know that actually things are going to happen which may affect your morning routine, especially if you've got kids, which I do have a little boy, and therefore it might mean that you think, oh great, I've got an hour to do what I need, and then suddenly things change. So it's about, for me, what's the one thing that's non-negotiable and that you say, do you know what, even if I can't do it now, I'm going to make time to do it later. And for me, it's the think part of it is actually understanding what you're going to do for the rest of the day. So as Scott has said, for Scott, it's meditation um, is part of the think and also it's about setting your goals for the day. What are the two or three really important things that you've got your real intention to get finished um, and to achieve throughout the day. And the last one is the drink, which sounds pretty simple, but actually for a lot of people, if you think we've, we've slept for maybe six, seven, eight, nine hours, and you haven't had any uh, hydration in that time, so you're already waking up with your body requiring some kind of uh, additional liquid. Now, unfortunately for most people, we turn to coffee straight away, which we know isn't particularly going to help us immediately. So even starting with the simples of, starting with a pint of water, uh, first thing in the morning, just downing that so you've got your first pint of water in your body to help rehydrate you. We know that your brain needs water as much as the rest of your body. Can really help get your body moving and help flush out toxins which you've got that have built up overnight. So for me, I actually end up having a green juice which is one of the kind of healthy powders which you can find, mixing that with a pint of water, uh, drinking that first thing in the morning. And then that could give you time to actually start on the rest of your day and maybe try and leave your uh, your caffeine of your tea or your coffee of your green tea maybe till a little bit later in the day so you've tried to take a little bit more water before you have everything else so to recap you've got your move your breathe your think and your drink so for you with the move if you just spend a, a minute or two writing down a list of what are the ways that you could move in the morning and more importantly is once you've got your list is about the timings. So if you said you were going to pick uh, running on the spot and bodyweight exercises, you could do that for one minute is better than nothing. 
So it may be going to the gym is a half hour or an hour of time, but actually just understanding you've got options so that each day maybe you could pick something different or you stick with the same thing to create your routine. So that is the move part sorted out. And as we said with the, brink, uh, with the breathing, it is about taking some time just on your own to actually just breathe slowly and actually clear your head and try and actually focus on what you're gonna do for the rest of the day, taking you on to the think. So think, grab a pad, write a few things down you need to do and have a look at two or three of those, star the ones that are most important and have a think about getting those ones done first in your day so the rest of your day is left clear to actually think about what else you need to do. As Scott said, maybe that thinking could involve meditation as well. Uh, there's so many different ways that you can actually help yourself to think clearly and just settle your mind before you start with, as we know, the craziness of the day. Everybody's very busy sometimes being busy, but that can be a really valuable part of your day. Just that start to give yourself time to think. And the last one, as we said, is drinking. Hydrate yourself with something that's actually nourishing your body before you start your day. And these can be done in any way. So it could be you wake up, you already have a plan for what you're going to do and you've thought about it, you have a drink, you do some exercise, and then you carry on with your day.